sword and a shield? No! Fuck! From the simple but effective red and blue to the equality promoting black and white minus Asians, Pokemon game names were always going to be harder to come up with. But you can't go from naming the previous Pokemon game after the fucking sun, which is the biggest thing in our solar system, to medieval weaponry. Sword and shield. You haven't even gone through all the colors in the rainbow yet. Now you're trying to go through the itinerary of a 15th century armory. These names are fine, but I'm looking forward to the next Pokemon games. Pokemon cock and pussy. But we have three new starters, let's look at them! Ah, another bipedal fire type. I wonder what its final evolution's typing is going to be. Fresh off of scaring little kids in Five Nights at Freddy's, because that game's not cool anymore, it decides to jump on the Pokemon bandwagon. From scaring kids to amusing them. No wonder why it's got a plaster on its face. Probably got punched by a concerned mother. So a walking sperm cell. Am I supposed to be impressed by this? Don't worry, dude. I'd be sad too if I was made out of man goo. Oh wait, I am. Fuck! This poor... Poor creature! This thing is the reason why you should stop using certain makeup brands. Because they're still testing on animals. He's as caked up as a Victoria sponge! This scene here is clearly depicting his escape from fucking MAC Cosmetics. And now he wants to extract his revenge on the whole of humanity. That's actually kind of a cool origin story. I'm gonna call mine Caesar. No!